Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an incredible day. Now today, guys, I'm going to be watering my Slumber Jira cacti, commonly known as the Christmas or Thanksgiving or holiday cacti. And the reason why I'm making a video on this is because I've actually got them all hanging up in the polytunnel, as you can see here. And this is a sign that they do need a good water because they're starting to shrivel a little bit. Now, Slumber Jira, are completely different to the desert type of cacti such as these ones here that need complete dormancy and dry uh, dry soil at this time of year winter um, the slumbergeras same as the epiphyllum here are the rainforest cacti and they're epiphytic in nature which means they like more moisture see i've got another epiphyllum there and as you can see this epiphyllum is also starting to shrivel so it needs watering now i do keep these very lightly watered throughout the winter because they're in the polytunnel which is a lot cooler than the house would be they, they stay at about an absolute minimum temperature of around sort of six seven celsius but ideally these are more tropical and they do like more warmer warmer temperatures than the desert type of cacti or the other type of succulents here and um, they ideally like a minimum of about sort of eight to ten but because obviously space we've got them here in the polytunnel they do pretty good i mean as you can see that this is full of bud but the reason why I'm, take, I'm doing this video, as I say, is I'm going to be taking them outside to water them because it's a lovely mild day today. Um, it's late December, but look at that temperature. It's 49 degrees Fahrenheit, which is brilliant because that's around, sort of around 10 degrees Celsius, which is very warm for this time of year. And because it's a lovely, it's a beautiful day. I mean, look at that. Nice beautiful sunny day so lovely mild temperatures as well and I've got the plant hooks out there so I'm going to be hanging them up on the plant hooks um, to give them a good water now the reason being if I when, I when I water them in here which I do have to do I have to give these a bit of water a little bit about once or twice a month and the water goes straight out onto the floor and obviously I'm overwintering the cacti and succulents here in the polytunnel the majority of them they need to be kept dry as much as possible and the air as dry as possible but every time water goes onto the floor I have to mop it all up and it does create more humidity um, as you can see that's the humidifier hum sorry the hydrom hydrometer here which shows the humidity is over 100% not good because the plants are all kept bone dry in here except for obviously the slumbergias and the ripsalis here and the ripsalidopsis these i keep lightly lightly watered because i have to then as i say they are they are tropical and they do like more moisture but the other ones all need to be kept totally dry so it's easier for me now on a lovely day like today to take them out hang them up onto the hanging racks over there lovely sunny day and um, give them a good watering so the water completely drips out and then you see this afternoon late this afternoon when it starts to go dark about four o'clock i can bring them back into the polytunnel by then all the water all the water would have dripped out and um pretty much good to put back in here again so here they are all now i'm going to show you what they're like when they're all hanging up outside now that's them all outside. I got my um, Ripsalidopsis, um, one of them anyway, my other Ripsalidopsis, commonly known as the Easter cactus. Doesn't really need watering, it's sort of still pretty plump. But this one is starting to shrivel a little bit, as you can see, so that's going to need a good water. This one is my um, Slumbergera tendenza a truncata which has the lovely big wider leaf margins than the normal um, truncata and it is the orange brazil it looks like it's going to be more pink this year though as i say sometimes slumbergera flowers can change color depending on the temperature still clearly orange there but if i remember last year it was sort of pink and then it opened up to orange that's going to be interesting so it's getting a bit too much sun which has gone, gone red there but as you can see it's dry so it's going to need um a good water there and then i've got these hanging up here look at that aren't they lovely i really wish that it was always this type of temperature because we could have these up all the time outside in the winter but as i say that is a, a beautiful day for for late december and um here i have my um slumbergera trunk art and the lovely bright vibrant pink flowering one there with a lovely lovely white inside isn't that gorgeous guys um the lovely sort of pink and the white and then this one is the golden charm which is gold with the lovely pink in the middle so got a few different types hanging up in here and as i say it does need a good water it's always difficult to water in the polyton as i say because the water just comes straight out when it lets goes too dry so it's a great opportunity to give them a really good soak today and the water can just come out 
straight out and then once this afternoon I can then put them back in the polyton and although it's sunny it's it's still sort of winter so it's winter sun so it's not going to harm these out here briefly for a few hours and this one here is my epiphyllum german empress and this is flowering for the first time for me after three years because this has the most incredible of pink flowers but sadly i repotted it about three years ago and it just put all its energy to to form in lots of new shoots and as you can see here loads of new growth and it didn't flower but now it has one flower which i'm very happy about so better one than not at all and i say normally my epiphyllum flower for me is sort of april time so it's unusual to see these this time of year it's been hanging up with the with the um slumber year Christmas cacti maybe it thinks it's one of them <laughs> and I'm here so this is my um ripsalis or one of my ripsalis this is pretty much okay but I think it's a good opportunity to give it a good soak as well and because of in these sort of these basket eat, basket things like a moss thing they dry out quite fast so as I say epiphytic cacti are different to desert cacti they do like to still be watered during the winter and if you want to know how to care for epiphytic cacti um, do check out a video I have made links will be up above now going across just click onto that link open up a new window and that goes into detail about how to care for epiphytic cacti that includes um, epiphyllums ripsalis and also ripsalidopsis and that now and and also slumbergera but I've made a separate video on how to care for Christmas cactus and Thanksgiving cactus which is a slumbergera because again it is a different slight care again to the normal epiphyllums and epiphytic because epiphyllums obviously different flowering times and things like that they're pretty similar in their care but it is different so I've done one specially for um, slumbergera Christmas cactus so do check that out also links will be going across the screen now so do click onto that and also put both links down below on how to care for epiphytic cacti and also how to care for slumbergera Christmas cacti and as I say that's that now I'm going to just give them a good old soaking and um, there we go and by the way, excuse this disgusting wall at the background. <laughs> this is not, this, it, it's actually coming from one of the pipes where the, the rain comes down. And normally in the summer I have plants covering that because it's winter, we've took everything off. So it looks a bit unsightly. <laughs> so apologies for that, guys. Hopefully the flowers overlook the, the brown ugliness in the background there. Now, there we go. I'm going to give this a, a good soak in there. This one as well, the orange Brazil. A good soaking so the water drips out and that's the good thing I haven't got to worry about it dripping all over the polytunnel on the floor where you want to keep everything dry let it all isn't that look at the flowers and that isn't that gorgeous guys so these good old soaking now and as I say I always say about not watering cacti in the winter to over winter but these are completely different care requirements so um as I say do check the video out on how to care for epiphytic cacti links down below and guys thanks so much for watching and all of your support I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power for a wonderful happy new year from across the Emerald Isle. Until the next video. Bye. Bye.